Today, the FDA gave that local company the go ahead to sell an at home version of the rapid test with no prescription. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain how the science on these rapid kits have been shifting. We know people with no symptoms can spread the virus. And throughout the pandemic, many doctors thought the only reliable way to detect infections in those symptomless folks was a slow test called PCR that takes one or more days. But that is beginning to change. We now have a method for testing asymptomatic people at home. And that's the key difference. The FDA just granted emergency authorization to several rapid antigen tests from Abbott and Quidel that'll be available without a prescription. They'll let people test themselves at home, whether or not they have symptoms, and provide results in 10 to 15 minutes. We believe this is the beginning of an era of frequent testing in order to demonstrate that we're ready to go back and reopen the economy. Studies repeatedly showed rapid antigen tests were good at finding the virus in people with a cough or a fever, but there were questions about their accuracy in people without symptoms. So the test makers tried a new approach. A study at the University of Illinois found that when Quidel's rapid test was given at least twice a week, its accuracy jumped to 95%, regardless of symptoms or not. People who buy Quidel's quick view at home test will get a two pack. They'll take the second test about 24 hours after the first. Because I know that the virus grows quite rapidly, if I missed it the first day, 24 to 36 hours later, I'm gonna pick it up. So in effect, I have a, a great ability to detect the virus early before that individual can go out into the community and spread the disease. The company says these tests will start appearing in certain pharmacies early this month. These rapid tests aren't just more convenient. Studies show they can have a big impact. In November, Slovakia rolled out rapid tests on a mass scale and found infections dropped 58% in one week and more than 80% after two weeks. The authors noted there may have been other contributing factors, but when the UK went into lockdown for a month in November, they only reduced cases by 30%. Quidel is now trying to replicate those results in the United States. The company just announced it's partnering with the National Institutes of Health to test the impact of repeated rapid testing in North Carolina and Tennessee. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Quidel says the price of its test has not been finalized yet, but its CEO expects a two-pack will cost less than $30.